Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to key out a green screen footage as well as color correct it without affecting any text on the screen that you might want to add. So first, grab your footage and slap that onto the timeline, okay? And then once you have that onto the timeline, simply select it and right-click and then go to Create New Fusion Clip, okay? Once you have created that new fusion clip, you will need to open that in the timeline. And then what you can do is go into the effects library, go down to open effects, search for 3D keyer, slap that onto the footage, and then open up the inspector, go to the, go to the effects, click on the plus icon thing, go to the drop down, go to open effects, and then just draw a blue line on there like I did. You'll see that there's a green spill around the person or whatever it is that you're keying out. And it's easy to get rid of that by simply going into the inspector again. And then you will see the despill option and you just slide the lever all the way to the right. And now it's all gone. It's not like insanely perfect. Um, you can notice a little bit of white like spill, but that's probably just because of my footage. Yours will probably look better, um, but it's gone and not noticeable. So you can play through that and see that it's not there. And then you can hop into the color all right, and then you can add a new node, and then you can increase the gamma, which will basically increase the brightness, the same thing. You can go into the scopes if you want and uh, see the waveform. I'm gonna increase the saturation, and that's pretty much all that needs to be done. I don't really think it needs much else than that. The quality is very poor as it is, so don't need to do anything else. Then you'll go back onto the main timeline, go into Fusion, and then we'll grab a text plus node, okay? and what the guy says is nice, so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to type in nice, but all caps, just for the hell of it. And then connect that up to the media in one node. And then I'm going to just move it over to the left into this empty space. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. And uh, I want to add some motion and do something a little bit cooler than just having it there. Um, but first I need to put it into the background of the merge, and then I can move it over. Then I can add a rectangle, but the tricky part is that you don't want to put it on the merge. You want to put it on the text node, which I did mistakenly at first. And then you will click on invert and then move it over so that it's completely hidden behind the person. And then I will do a keyframe on the center X and Y and then another keyframe 20 frames after that and then move it over on that keyframe so that you can see it add some motion blur, about five is good, and then go into spline and then select the keyframes and then smoothen them out. And then I can play it through to watch it and it looks kind of cool. The nice word just kind of flows really well from behind the person and it says what the person is saying. So it's kind of a neat little effect there and a nice little animation to this meme uh, and yeah, that's how you can correct footage and uh, grade footage and add text without affecting the text itself. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.